C-section rates in the U.S. have increased 50% over the past decade. The current U.S. C-section rate is approaching 33%. With a rise in C-section rates, attempts to reduce fetal morbidity is paramount. Fetal laceration during C-section is a serious birth injury, yet is often undocumented and underreported. It is the most common fetal injury at C-section, representing 65% of fetal C-section injuries. 70% of these occur on the face, head, and ears. Fetal laceration occurs in 0.7 to 3.1% of births, 15,000 to 45,000 per year in the U.S. Not simply a cosmetic injury, fetal lacerations often result in medical intervention, even requiring the services of a pediatric plastic surgeon, litigation and medical malpractice, risk of fetal exposure to maternal blood-borne pathogens, patient dissatisfaction, and most importantly, preventable harm to the child. Various techniques are employed to minimize the risk of fetal injury during myometrial incision, including Alice clamps, suction, blunt entry. However, we have not solved the problem. The answer is C-Safe. C-Safe, a breakthrough surgical instrument that replaces standard blades, created to protect both the baby and the surgical team. C-Safe has three main components. The handle is ergonomically designed to fit comfortably in the surgeon's hand. The tip is designed to be blunt enough to enter the serosa and myometrium. The blade is shielded to avoid any exposure while offering maximum safety to the baby. The goal is safe entry. C-Safe allows the surgeon to enter the uterus safely without the need for a traditional scalpel, regardless of uterine status. By applying slight downward pressure to the base of the handle while running the tip along the striations of the tissue, the tip will catch either in a striation or a forming ripple in the uterine wall. The surgeon should try to tent the anterior uterine wall upwards while swiping across the lower segment. Once the tip has penetrated the tissue, the incision is continued transversely, ensuring that the tip and blade are moving up and away from the baby. If the uterine wall is unlabored or thick, several passes can be made. Because the serosa and myometrium vary in thickness, texture, and elasticity, the surgeon's approach with C-Safe must vary as well. When entry into the uterine cavity is achieved, the hysterotomy incision can be extended using C-Safe or blunt expansion with the surgeon's fingers. The technique and feel of C-Safe is different from that of a scalpel. When using a scalpel, the surgeon cuts towards his or her own body, making delicate passes with very little pressure. With C-Safe, the surgeon cuts away from his or her body, accompanied by slight downward pressure. The combination of C-Safe and good technique is unmatched, providing the confidence of a safe, efficient cesarean every time. C-Safe, because one fetal laceration is too many.